In this tutorial, we will discuss about HTTP request in Codeigniter 4. So HTTP request is which is being requested from our browser. In this case, we are requesting a student controller having a function display. So if we want to pass few values here, then how we can access this in our controller? For example, if we want to display data from database by a student ID, then we will pass the ID in browser request and get that ID in our controller and use that ID to get data from database and display on the view. So I'm going to create a new function here. I'll name it as display with request. So if I call this function, I'll get nothing on the screen because this function is empty. So I'm duplicating this view and I'll name it as student2.php and I'll remove all the code from here and load our student.php in our controller. So return view from here. Now try to reload our page. So student title is displaying on tab bar, which means our view is loaded. So now we will fetch request from browser. So in PHP, there are three ways to get request from browser. The first one is get, second one is post, and third one is request. Get method is used to get data from browser URL. So if I pass any value here, so here the two is a request parameter which is passed as get method. the post method is used so i'm not going to explain this in detail because it's not part of coordinator to get this argument we can use this argument as our function parameter so i'm going to create a new parameter here which is suppose id so this id is the argument which is provided here so let's print the ID on our view to check if we are getting this argument or not. So here I'm passing an array and I'm passing variable name as ID and our ID which we are getting from the function parameter. Now inside the view Let's print it on the screen. So I'm printing it in H2 tag. Which is ID. Now try to reload our page. And the two is displaying here. So if I change this, then this ID is displaying here, which means we are getting the argument in our function parameter so we can use this anywhere in our controller so the next method is the get method to get the variables as a get query strings to pass query string in our url we will use the question mark our parameter name suppose name is equals to so when we hit enter then we are getting some error this error is coming because we don't have this id in our arguments so i'm going to remove this 
and I'm removing this as well. So now we need the query string which is name. To do this we can use a request variable which is available globally which is request and inside the request we have few methods like get where or get get or get post the get get method is used to get data which is passed as the get method and the get post is used to get the variable which is passed as post method for example if we are submitting form as a post method then we can get that value using get post function here the next one is get where which is used to get data from post and get methods it will check internally that the variable is coming from get method or post method the next one is get post this means this will first check for the get, get method and if the variable is not coming from get then it will check for the post method the next one is get post get this function will first check for the post method if the variable is coming from post method then it will return the value otherwise is it will check for the get method so here i am using the get where to get the value from our get method and the parameter name is name and I'm going to save this in variable which is named and I'm passing this name to the view so name our name variable now try to display this name in our view now try to reload our page now our name is displaying on the screen so we can pass multiple parameters here like age is equal to 29 and we can fetch that age here this request get where age and pass that age to view and print the age here now reload our page and now our age is also displaying on the screen if we do the same with the get method get get then we will get the same result but if i get this age as a post method get post and now try to reload our page then we will get nothing because the age is not coming as a post method it's coming as a get method that's why we can use the get where so it will check internally that request is coming as get or post and return its value thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so i can create more valuable content for you follow us on other social media accounts as well links are in description of this video